All right, so we're all done. We've got it all hooked up. Got the plug made up. And UF cable going up to the workshop. Gravel's all complete. Looking pretty good. And inside, we've added, this is where the power comes in from that made up plug. Gives me a receptor, uh, four receptacles here, line down to a receptacle there. And I have a switch. What does the switch work? Lights. So we have lights in the workshop, just like that. So one step closer to being ready to work. So one last thing I'm going to do is at the end of this bench, I'm going to build a little platform so my table saw can sit on it and will be pretty much just a little bit above the table so that as I rip wood, it'll be able to lay and fall on the table. So I gotta figure out which saw I'm gonna get. My table saw I have currently, it's about 18 years old. I think I bought it right after I started my first business. 1998, 97. Anyway, it's pretty old, it's pretty beat up. So I'm gonna get a new one. Um. If you have any suggestions in terms of a uh, table saw, and pretty much all I'm doing is ripping stuff and, um, you know, may get into some fine carpentry work when it comes to the interior fit out, but I guess that's just a saw blade. So the biggest thing I'll be ripping here is a two by four. So we want to um, go ahead and next week I'm going to put down masonite and then paint this with the paint that'll make this like a dry erase board. And the reason why is when I go to frame or build my frames, I'll actually draw the frame on the table. So the table will be like a lofting table for sales. So I actually will lay out the frame here, cut the components, um, glue them together here, and then stack them outside. So that's what this table is. If I do a dry eraser board, when I do that, um, I'll make sure it's perfect and then I can come and just wipe it off and when I glue it together once I get it cut and see that it matches the, the, the layout on the table I'll just put tape over the joints on the table and epoxy them up and then when it, when it dries take the tape off um, the tape I'll probably use is the clear packing tape um, so that way I can still see the lines and all that when I do that. And that way I'll try to keep the epoxy from getting on the table. But we'll be, sh be sure to clean up after we lay those up. So we're moving along. Um, looking good in the shop. We got another piece of plywood down in the deck, straightened up today. Straighten the wood up, clean the yard up a little bit. And uh, so we're looking a little bit better. So, guess we'll see you next Saturday when we try to build the boat. <laughs> Peace and blessings. And we're done.